Hello guys, welcome back, this is 49ers News and this is an exclusive, I repeat, an exclusive, I repeat, an exclusive. This is about this guy. Okay, as you can see here, ESPN.com forward slash NFL forward slash story. This is an exclusive. Uh, Richard Sherman in custody for the incident at in-laws home car accident. Um, there was a lot of rumours going around about a fight, about this, that and the other, but I think we've got a long article on this one. So... Let's read it. Richard Sherman in custody for uh, uh, after accident at in-laws home car accident. Let's have a look. So it says, free agent cornerback Richard Sherman is facing several charges, including one suspicion of uh, burglary, burglary, domestic violence, after he was arrested at his wife's parents' residence in Redmond, Washington, earlier Wednesday. Redmond Police Department Chief Darrell Lowe said a at a news conference Wednesday that Sherman also faces charges of suspicion of resisting arrest and uh, malicious mischief. In addition, Washington State Patrol Capital Ron Meade said at the news conference that his department is also ready to refer Sherman to prosecutors or for possible uh, misdemeanor DUI and hit and run charges related to a separate incident on Wednesday. Uh, Sherman uh, suffered minor uh, uh, lacerations to her lower leg and ankle and was treated at a local hospital as a result of contact from a police dog jeez this guy uh, which was also used his uh which was all which was used in his apprehension low said an officer at the same scene also received minor injury uh, minor injuries he said and it says sherman was booked at 608 a.m pt wednesday at the king county correctional facility in seattle records state he was denied bail but a spokesman for the Redmond Police Department told ESPN that he's standard procedure for suspects of domestic violence until they can appear before a judge. Sherman's hearing before a judge will not take place until Thursday afternoon. The judge will determine if there was possible calls for an arrest and also set bail. The domestic violence com uh, component uh, of the charge Sherman faces, which is a felony, is due to his relation to the uh, occupants of the re, uh, of the residence, and the mysterious mischief charge is in relation to the damage he all uh, he allegedly did to their front door. Lowe said, "No one at the residence suffered injuries, and Sherman did not gain entry into the residence." Lowe said, "Redmond uh, Redmond Police received a 911 call at the prox approximately 1:49 a.m. PT from one of the residents at the home, and which." At last, four adults were present, saying that Sherman was trying to gain access, uh, trying to gain access or entry. Lowe said he was uh, unsure if there were children present. Lowe said that the Washington State Patrol received a 911 call, uh, approximately 1:26 a.m. PT, about poss a possibility uh, impaired driver after Sherman allegedly drove his SUV into a closed uh, construction zone. The, the call was made by a worker in this construction zone. Mead said nothing very uh, nothing were very fortunate there were no injuries police responded and found a vehicle which had significant damage on the driver's side as a result from contact with a barrier a nearby parking lot they ran the plates on the vehicle and determined it was registered to sherman in their efforts to find Sherman, the Washington State Patrol was alerted to the incident, called into Redmond Police and went to that location and assisted in the arrest. Lowe said the situation between Sherman and police turned after he was informed they had possible calls to place him under arrest. At that point, he began to walk away uh, and increased his, pa uh, increased his pace, and which, the which the K-9 unit was deployed to aid in the arrest. Man, like, my guy can't even run. That's why we didn't hire him back. Um, the Washington State Patrol received a blood search warrant and took a sample from Sherman, he said. Those results are still pending. Lowe said that the police could smell an odor of intoxicant. Oh, right, she's probably drunk. Uh, they could smell something like drunk, so, so, some drinking or something like that. Uh, at this time, we're going to make no statements except that he, he didn't harm anyone. Sherman's wife, Ashley Moses, told the uh, Seattle Times. My kids were not harmed in the incident. He's a good person, and this is not his character. We're doing all right. Uh, we're doing all right, just trying to get him out. I want people to know no one was injured. Sherman, 33, completed his third season with the 49ers in 2020 after spending the first seven seasons of his career with the Seattle Seahawks. The NFL said Wednesday that investigate, uh, investigations, any incident involved in law enforcement, and if there is a violation of the personal conduct policy, the player would be facing disciplinary. Uh, Sherman. 
uh, also is a vice president of the NFL's Players Association's uh, Executive uh, Committee. And uh, we were made aware of an arrest last night of one of the f- uh, one of our players' uh, leaders of an uh, domestic violence incident, and have activated our domestic violence crisis protocol for the protection and support for everyone involved. The NFLPA said in their statement, "We will continue to monitor events closely as more facts are made available to us." Chairman has been selected to five Pro Bowls and has three-time first-team All-Pro in his 10 NFL seasons. Well, to break it down short, I think he was drinking, and he was driving, and he's hit something, and he's pissed off about something. So he goes he goes to his wife-in-laws, kicking off there. Police said, told, calm down, stay here. He tries to do a runner, which he can't run, because that's why we ain't hired him. And canines come out, let's do him. Um, But at least his wife said it. I think that's something... His wife's back to him saying this is not his character, so he's probably drinking behind the wheel. Um, you know, I know disrespect in 2019 is very good for us. Seahawks, he oh, was really good for them. It was good for us. And in 2020, he, he couldn't keep the pace. Um, but overall, I hope he goes well, I hope he does better. Um, glad no one's harms. Everyone's good. He's set to see the judge tomorrow so i'll keep uh i'll give you a, a news update on that tomorrow um but yeah leave your comments guys tell me what you think of part one of this story um i'll give you part two tomorrow when i find out more about richard sherman thank you very much for the 38 subscribers guys really fortunate humble and appreciated uh, and if you're new subscribed i've done a lot more 49's news on random days during the week i'm trying to get back to my five days a week but i will keep posting as hard as i can through this webcam or my phone. Um, thanks for guys for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.